guys, I'm back from my vacation in Tennessee and I'm really excited to be back to making videos and talking to you guys. And today I'm just going to be showing you all a little haul. So first and foremost, I wanna thank one of my really great friends here on YouTube, Teresa, who is beauty for every day for these amazing earrings. I actually received these earrings from her the day that we left for Tennessee and um, I was too busy at that time to make a video so I definitely wanted to give her some love in this video and just show you how gorgeous these feather earrings are that she sent me and they are from Charming Charlie's and they're this gorgeous chocolate brown and they have some glitter veining and they have beading I just absolutely love them very excited to wear them they're gonna be great for fall so thank you so much Teresa next I needed some new studs I just wanted plain cubic zirconia diamond faux diamond studs and so these ones from Juicy Couture are perfect this is what they look like and they're actually really cute let me pull them out um, I've worn these in a couple of my recent videos um, but they sort of look like little princess crowns hopefully you guys can see that they look like little crowns and then on the back they also have crowns these are just the perfect cubic zirconia studs I really really needed these so very excited about those and you can get those at Bloomingdale's and there are like so many people walking by today and I know that they look in my window and I'm like sitting here in this spotlight and they're just like, what is that girl doing? So I have to keep stopping because I don't want to look like I'm talking to myself. So next I was really excited because I actually won Gourmet Glitterati's Beauty Blender giveaway. So thank you so much, Nikki. I got my Beauty Blender in the mail and I used it this morning with my new Revlon Color Stay foundation and it's really, really nice. Very excited about this. Um, I've been wanting to try a Beauty Blender, but they are a little bit pricey. So I was really excited to have won this. So there's my little pink Beauty Blender. At Bed Bath & Beyond the other day, I picked up some Clean & Clear Continuous Control Acne cleanser and this stuff actually has 10% benzoyl peroxide in it which is a really great acne medication I find that benzoyl peroxide works better for me than salicylic acid um, the one thing that I will say about this product is that it will completely and totally bleach your towels I actually used a brown towel um, to dry my face after I washed my face with this cleanser and it completely bleached it there's just big yellow hand prints there's a face print it's terrible, so um, if you're gonna purchase this, be sure to use a white towel when you dry your face and be careful with clothing, sheets, linens, that sort of thing, just because the benzoyl peroxide will definitely, definitely bleach it's up some of the CoverGirl Brow and Eye Maker pencils in soft brown, and these are the pencils that I used to actually just define my eyebrows. Just pencil them in so that they have some shape and they sort of match each other because for some reason, my eyebrows are totally whack. The hair in one eyebrow like grows the right way and then the hair in the other eyebrow like grows a different way. I don't even know what the hell. So anyways, I have to pencil them in and I love these CoverGirl um, soft brown pencils. Then I picked up a Fusion Beauty Top Picks set and I actually ordered this off of Outlook.com. I posted about this on Facebook. I thought that this would be a really good opportunity to try out a few of their products. I've never tried Fusion Beauty, and this was a steal. Um, I had been wanting to try their Lip Fusion XL. I've seen um, Lisa Lisa D1 talk about how fabulous it was, and it came in this set, so I was super excited. Um, so anyways, it comes with the Lip Fusion Infatuation Lip Gloss. It comes with this Alumafil Line Filling Luminizer. It, it comes with the Lash Fusion XL, the Lip Fusion XL, and then just a Lip Fusion Lip Gloss. So I was most excited, oops, I was most excited about this Lip Fusion XL because this is what Lisa had talked about. And I used this already on my lips a couple of times. It is, um, a little stingy it's got like that sort of menthol feel to it so you're gonna feel it sort of like pricking your lips that's sort of the feeling that I get it burns a little bit um, but I did notice that my lips looked bigger I'm really excited about all these fusion beauty products and definitely will keep you guys updated on what I think about the different products in this kit Outlook look always has really amazing deals on different beauty products fashion jewelry shoes everything so so if you haven't signed up yet I will put my link in the down bar love that website so I have a couple things here from Rite Aid Rite Aid is actually running a 40% off Revlon sale right now um, originally I think it was all Revlon and when I just went back this last time it looked like it was just Revlon color stay um, so I picked up some of the Revlon color stay products but the first time I went it was all Revlon and so I picked up two more of the Revlon lip butters I know I'm disgusting I can't get away from these things it's like a sick obsession um, so I only had three so I decided to pick up two more and they were a lot more pricey than what I told you guys the price was at Bed Bath & Beyond which I expected um, 
Bed Bath & Beyond's cosmetic prices are always lower than your typical drugstore. So at the drugstore, these are running about $8, which in my opinion is a little bit pricey, um, but they were 40% off and then you got a two up reward. So that was a really great deal. So I picked up two of them. I got them in Gumdrop and Red Velvet, two completely different colors. So first I'll show you Gumdrop. And Gumdrop is a light purple. I got this one not because I think it's going to be really flattering for my skin tone, but just because it was probably one of the more unique colors that they had. It sort of reminded me of like a MAC Hello Kitty lipstick, so I just wanted to pick it up. But, but anyways, this is a swatch of Gumdrop. Hopefully you guys can see that. And sorry if my hands look terrible. I was swatching foundation on there and now they're all dried out. Um, but that is what Gumdrop looks like. It's a really nice a light purple. You can see that it is very moisturizing like all of the other ones. It has that nice sheen to it. The color I picked up is a lot more fall appropriate and a lot more dramatic and it is called Red Velvet. You guys know that I already have a red Revlon lip butter in Candy Apple which is more of like a bright apple red. This is a much darker almost burgundy red and I am wearing that on my lips today. So this is Red Velvet. And you can see that that is a much deeper, darker burgundy red. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's very dramatic, perfect for a fall or winter lip. So love both of these. You guys know lip butters are my thing. I just haven't been able to find these yet. Don't give up. Hang in there. I have spoken with Revlon and they said that they will be available everywhere by January of 2012. But next month, beginning of November, they're going to start popping up in a lot more places. So hopefully in the next week or two, you're going to start to see them in a lot more drugstores. So far, I've seen them at Rite Aid and I have seen them at my Bed Bath & Beyond. I also know people have said they've seen them at Walgreens. So just check out your local drugstores. Be sure to check end caps. Um, right when you walk in the door, the brand new product displays is probably where you're going to find them. So good luck, girls. And the last time I went, um, they had 40% off their Colorstay products, and I've never tried Revlon Colorstay. I know that's insane. I'm way behind the bandwagon here, um, but I have heard really great things about it, and they haven't stopped. So I just decided to just bite the bullet and pick one of their foundations up. So I got the Revlon Colorstay foundation in 150 buff. And I think this is what, one of the lighter colors. It's either the lightest or the second lightest. But I got it in buff. And then I also picked up one of the Revlon Colorstay pressed powders in fair. Looks like. And I am wearing both of these today. I really like them. The Revlon Colorstay is a little bit thick. Um, you're definitely going to need to apply a moisturizer, even if you have oily skin, especially in the winter as our skin gets a little bit drier, um, because this is very thick and almost sticky. But the coverage, while it is medium to full coverage, is very natural, so I really enjoyed that. Um, the Revlon Colorstay Powder, coupled with the Revlon Colorstay Foundation, is definitely full coverage. It's going to cover everything. It's going to give you a very matte look. Um, so I really like both of these, and getting them at 40% off was a steal. Next. Okay, so I went ahead and purchased a Maybelline Baby Lips while I was in Tennessee, and this one is in, where's the color? Cherry Me. Um, I was going to get the Pink Punch one, which is a lot more popular, the pink one, but in my opinion, it was just too pink. It was too much like a lot of the other lipstick colors that I already have, and I've been really into reds lately, if you guys haven't noticed. So I picked up Cherry Me, and this really just gives you a look like you've just eaten a popsicle. The swatch is right here, and I know it looks really pink on the swatch, but when you put it on your lips, it's definitely more red-toned. Um, it gives you that just-bitten look, and they are a lot more moisturizing than the Revlon Lip Butters. This is definitely more like a balm. It's like a Nivea balm. So very moisturizing. It has your SPF in there. So I really like the baby lips, um, considering picking up some more colors of those. Oh, so then I received a shipment from... La, 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 la. So then I received a shipment from Shea Terra Organics. Say that five times fast. I love Shea Terra Organics. I just recently discovered this company and fell in love with their bananas and baobabs. I think that's how you say it. Whipped Shea Body Butter. Amazing. I love the smell. I love how moisturizing it is. I love the cause of Shea Terra Organics. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely recommend checking out their website. Um, so anyways, they sent me their premium dark chocolate sugar stone exfoliating cream. Oh my god, it's a dark chocolate exfoliator, 99.7% natural. With the ingredients, I'm not confused. There's no big words or crazy chemicals or anything like that. It's all recognizable, very natural um, ingredients, which I really, really love. So take a look at this stuff. Look at that. 
Oh my god, and it just smells exactly like chocolate. It literally is like chocolate frosting in there. It's amazing. It has amazing exfoliating properties. I've dipped into it once. I've used it on my feet just to exfoliate the bottom of my feet. Divine. It's literally like exfoliating with dessert. I practically want to eat it. And I really love their packaging because it comes in the really nice solid glass jars, which I don't know why I love that. I just think that it feels more substantial. It feels like it's more expensive, even though these products are not expensive at all. I really, really love it. Next from Shea Terra, they sent me their Moroccan Argan Oil, and this is 100% pure natural. Um, I'm a big believer in Argan Oil, Moroccan Oil. I think that it's amazing, especially for dry, damaged bleach hair like mine. Um, I'll use this as sort of like a hair mask at night all over my hair, or I'll just rub it in the ends of my hair to sort of get rid of some dryness. I even add a little bit of Moroccan Argan Oil into my bleach mixture when I am doing my roots. I'm so very excited about this. It says it's for dry, mature, and aging skin and conditions hair. So you can use it on your skin as well. You can use it on your cuticles. Um, I love that it comes in like a little pump bottle, very convenient. And again, the bottle is glass. Absolutely love it. I highly recommend checking their products out. Love it. Also sent me some satin smooth products. These are called the Milk and Honey Collagen Masks. It's the ultimate facelift. Aren't they amazing? Look at them in there. Yum! So I can't wait to wear these. I'm thinking about busting these out on Halloween so that I look like Jason and scare the crap out of my husband. <laughs> um, they sent me one for lips. How funny is that? Look at that. Milk and Honey Ultimate Lip Plump. Can't wait to try that out. This one is a Milk and Honey Under Eye Lift. Totally need this. This is like going to be amazing. And these ones are Ultimate Eye Lift, and these actually go around your entire eye. Ooh. Last but not least, um, I was sent a adorable handmade makeup bag from Bohemian Love. Look how cute that is. And it is monogrammed with my first initial, with a W for Wendy. And it is just the cutest little makeup bag. You can see inside that it says Bohemian Love Handmade. Well, at least I hope you can see that. And I just love the color. It's really, really nice. I love this. I actually took this with me on my recent trip to Tennessee, and I just threw all of my makeup essentials in there. And soon I'm going to be having a giveaway for one of your own monogrammed Bohemian Love makeup bags on my blog. If you haven't subscribed to my blog, be sure to go subscribe right now. I'm going to put the link in the down bar. And stay tuned because you'll have a chance to win your own Bohemian Love travel makeup bag. I love it. So anyways, that completes my haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down in the comments below and I will be sure to get back to you. And I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Bye!